Hello and greetings, this is Ice and Quinn, and we are playing Warframe on the Switch. We are again covertly uh, located off Earth, though we're about to continue uh, with the mission, which is now dubbed Cetus Part 3. Uh, we're going to board uh, Hex, or Vea Hex, a galleon, and attempt to find some important information. So let's just hop to that. All right. Some good missions here, but we're looking for uh, the missions that you're currently on. Usually, we'll have this little X marker, so we're going to go there. It's just listed as a quest, so let's see what we can do. And you want to unlock everything on the planet, you can later put out equipment. This curse is really moving slow. You can uh, drop gathering devices around the planet to collect it materials the number you can drop based on your rank um, I'm still at rank one so we're not going very far let's continue with this mission though. let's go to hex galleon and off we go and they're talking about ciphers uh, yeah, you can buy the blueprints for those. Have to look up. Ciphers is how you how you can use a device to automatically crack a lock if you're having difficulty with locks, and they only get more complex. I'd suggest try it a few times, stick with it, uh, or play with a group of people. Uh, you know, uh, someone's usually able to hack it. Uh, although another easy way with materials is just to buy the blueprint and make ciphers. And we'll be covering all that in probably a Something's solitary wrong. episode. My scans are being blocked. I can't detect any shards. What does that mean? Oh, okay. This I'll watch you now. is huge. Think. Think. Hmm. Anko would have known what to do. Each fragment Should responds we get to a unique in? harmonic. We discovered that during my initial work on Cetus' transceiver system. It's too bad we can't walk a wide band harmonic through the ship. And Lotus? I'll perform a broad frequency sweep. Okay. That conference call's over. Well, we've alerted everybody. Sire, that worked! Onko wasn't the only one with a sharp mind. We are elevated by your work and his. Your marriage was a boon to Cetus. It wasn't and? always easy. Cetus came first. Always. Things were missed. Special days. Anniversaries. But it was a duty and a privilege. Okay, are we all done? Being the guy actually on the galleon in danger? Uh, oh, no, we gotta hear from him now. Who, who put him in on us? my birth into all? Such a gift. But I have a surprise for you, you greasy metal maggot! <laughs> yeah, well, my birth interval is actually probably occurring when you guys are watching this video, if you watch it on the day it's released. I think. No, it might be a day after. Let's get rid of these jokers. Oh, they're getting reinforcements already. I hate to leave loot behind. This guy's coming in with a shield. Let's see if we can just dive through it. Almost hit him. We set off every alarm in the ship. Of course, if the scan hadn't already. So let's try our hand at hacking again. Alright. Uh, almost got that all in a row. What's this guy doing? Your uh, jump and, and gun fall, you see how slow we were falling there when we're aiming, is slower in the ships than it is outdoors. Let's try it out on him. We already hit an object there, so. Stop you. You need to give me a good pistol, also. Oh, wait.
Don't want to miss this. This came out of the chest. You can convert these into endo or use them to power sculptures that you can find. Might be overdoing it on the jumping and shooting. And you look in the lower right hand corner, we got 100 energy. So if we hit the right bumper, uh, don't think we have enough energy to use Exalted Blade, but we do to use the first three. Which is Radial Javelin, Radial Blind. Both are good crowd control abilities. I'll try and use them more. We just haven't had a lot of power. Since they're crowd control, I prefer to be in a crowd. You can hear my Sentinel firing its shotgun. More loot. I'm here for the mission, I'm here for the loot. You can always tell new players. And they're stopping for the loot. Older ones have got everything off this ship. We got Organ Shatter. I had picked that up. That increases your critical damage rate, which is very good. Okay, uh, I mentioned loot. Lots of power here. can execute that power attack when you jump by holding down the uh, melee button, the B button, sorry, the A button, and uh, as you fall. Oh, he's got a flamethrower. Rubito. Uh, there's also a mod that when you drop to the ground, if you don't do that power attack, does extra damage. Sends out a shockwave, will knock everyone down and or kill them, depending on its strength. I give that one to uh, Ryan. I didn't get away from that. Alright, you guys already set it off once here. Uh, uh, this is the wrong way. But I see some libido in. Uh, is that loot? Nope. Okay, let's continue with our mission. Which is down here. This one Earth, we're really only picking up the same elements we've picked up a few times, which is not bad. It's just I do need some others. No, I didn't check. At the beginning of every mission is a special objective that you can do to gain extra affinity. I'm so used to not needing affinity that I don't pay attention to those, but I'll have to start paying attention. Let's do a radio blind here. Now that they're blinded, we get a stealth attack on everyone, so continuity here would help because it would increase the time that uh, they're blinded. It's about the only one it helps on because Radio Javelin instantan instantaneous. Try not to yell uh, because the volume that I have is much different than the volume you guys have. How many times are they going to do this? Uh, who's throwing grenades? Guys, sort of walking in circles, so we had to kill him. Uh, these guys will keep spawning, so we might as well just head to the objective. It is a on missions like this. It's a good way to collect extra experience. Right? Is it around this way? Since they endlessly spawn and they don't rank up. Let's get 
to the locker. Thief's Wit is an ability that will let you... Oh, we hear something we need to discuss. Let you open up the lockers. Don't have... This is a fragment here, so you want to scan it. There's another type of scanner you can use. So we unlock some data there about the Warframe Hydroid. Surprise! Surprise! A gleaming maggot yeah. squirmed into my ship. Well, let's see you slip out of this one! <laughs> okay, we're gonna use a dash charge at him. Just knock him down. Keep an eye on our shield. Sort of keep him stun locked. Blind them. Can't you stop one puny maggot from squirming away? Uh, let's see if I can blow up that barrel. Got myself there too. That hurt my shields worse than anything that they could have done. Well, I'm letting them recharge just a little bit. There is something called fast regeneration. That's a mod you can put on because your shields uh, recharge faster. It's good for someone like Excalibur. We're not quite up to full strength yet. Let's see if I can hack this. Uh, took my thumb off, didn't get the last one. Right in a row, that is. Can't go through these doors. So it means there's a lock around here. Ah, oh, it's up here. Yeah, almost got that third one. For those who watched the spy mission, uh, I think it's episode number two. Uh, this is very similar to that. We're sort of sneaking into an area. And there are spy missions, and there are Loki is a good frame for a spy mission. Uh, Ivera, I believe is the name of her. She cloaks all the time. I used to use her. This shield will uh, drain our energy if we try to go through it. Okay, we're in the interior here. My sentinel got that. Keep an eye out for those. Those will drain your energy as well. You can see here we've got power plant. Just sort of giving us a, a mission to do. Let's pull out our scanner. Well, this is what we want to scan right here. The thing, I guess that was staring right in front of me. I actually heard it. We've recovered all of the shards may have discovered. Get to extraction. Ooh, here's the secret door. Not really too secret, is it? Can we jump over there without... There we go. So I said, these ships have... You can find crew cabins. They're sort of hidden. Uh, sometimes there's panels you can jump down below the floor. The side room. It's always worth, if you're taking your time... Okay. Take a look for those. Is he trying to hide? Uh, another arm. I had a trap for me there. Oh, 
I really shouldn't be fighting these guys because we're done with the mission. Right, shoot that. Get the loot out of there. Oh, my door's locked out. Let's try our fourth exalted blade. There we go. Now we can use this until we run out of energy. We can turn it off also. So you see energy in lower right hand side is dropping. Didn't mean to do that one, but we did. Let's see if we can unlock the door. Cypher would be handy there because you don't have time. A lot of times when you're being shot. Let's go up and visit these guys. Trying to use abilities here, but don't have enough energy now. This is going to be an old-fashioned shootout. Take cover and reload. Shoot the guy in the back. Grenade. Yes, they get grenades. I said that's one of the most oh, common questions asked where, where I don't have grenades. But when you have these great Warframe powers, take a heated charge there. Yeah, I think we've slimmed it down some. Here's a, I think the scan, not really the proper scanner for it, but you can still scan them. These cephalon fragments. You want to scan those, even though there's another scan that works better for them, because when you try to go to new planets, you'll have to unlock junctions to travel on the solar rails. And those are often requirements that you scan two or three of them or some number. chest up here or locker oh, who's shooting me these blue items are usually rare items of those blue spheres that show up there. I used to think they're blue or they're white. What I just picked up a moment ago. You always want to get those. And credits tend to fall out like credits. I keep doing these because, uh, well, you get experience for them too. I almost had the timing down. Oh, flame bow. That hurt. Chasing him down. Again, you hear my sentinel shooting away. Uh, if you don't spend the 75. Uh, Platinum for a Sentinel pre-built, then getting the blueprints is the best way to go. I'll pick up blueprints for a couple of the others. There's one that allows you to uh, cloak. There's, well, they all have different abilities. The one I'm using presently is a secondary pickup aid. And when you're playing the game early, I consider it extremely handy because you don't miss any loot that way or you're less likely to miss it. You do have to be close to it. You keep expanding it. You have more abilities or a, a greater range that you can pick up things. So let's see what we got here. Nothing earth shattering. And the uses of neurodes, those are rare. I think that, that was the blue marker in this case. The category when they show them on the planet, the top one will be the most common and the bottom will be the uh, rarest. And I'll show you what I mean by that. 
until we picked up our skin. There's a difference between your mastery rank and your frame rank. Uh, my frame rank is 14, my mastery rank is still just one, so. Put the last piece in there. Have to do anything to it there's only one piece left hex digging into central plains i recall uncle finding a few interesting artifacts in the region of that crater lake where we used to fish <laughs> that place where uncle's catch got eaten on the line by a <laughs> oh, okay massive hookta and we had to haul him out. <laughs> we spent the whole day drying his notebooks. <sighs> that was a good day. I think I know where we should look. Doha, Doha. While it is dark, the Grenier won't be there. Are we done, guys? Okay, I'll show you what I was talking about. Uh, the planet and how you can tell what they have if you lower the right hand corner it shows hit press r just push an r or do this you see so the most common elements on earth are ferrite then rubido then uh, neurodes uh, the detonite ampule is probably the blue one uh, i've been actually getting more of those than i have the, the neurodes so each planet will have different items venus has the alloy that you'll need to make uh, the carrick weapon if you're looking to uh, make it and up top, you see we can go through. That's the mission we're on. This is an alert. I actually have this one unlocked, so I can do it. And here are void fishers. Now that I've picked up from a couple missions I've done uh, void relics, you can use these to get special uh, equipment. The only one I have unlocked so far is this one here as a capture. But I'm, I'm saving those uh, to do later. And we're going to end this episode here. I want to thank everyone for watching. We'll continue this, I guess, with, was it part four now? Set us part four, even though the names are changing. Uh, so thanks, everyone, for watching. Leave your comments if you have any, or follow me uh, on Twitter and send me comments there. Make sure you have a good day, and I hope to catch you all again virtually later.